Cochran, when I shot this Spirit of Alabama report, people yelled out my name several times. I don't know when folks have been happier to see me. And I don't get that a lot, and I have to say I enjoyed all the attention. The people at Workshops Inc. would be happy to see you too. They're happy to be alive, happy to have a job, and happy to share their love with you. The good work of Workshops Inc. in tonight's Spirit of Alabama report. You'd be surprised at what all the workers do here at Workshops Inc. Every day, over 100 people with a variety of challenges come to work here. Most people with disabilities want nothing more than to be just like everybody else, to be in integrated, competitive work settings where they're able to contribute to uh, a business. Um, and, and that's what we're going for with, with everyone that we serve. That's the most important thing about Workshops, Inc. The folks who work here are just like you. They want to work, want to be productive. They take pride in what they do. You, you look very happy. I am. Jimmy Salmon has worked here for 41 years. Most folks don't work here that long. Most work here, are trained here, and then move on to jobs in the private sector. But some, like Jimmy, do such a good job and are so dedicated, they're encouraged to stay as the backbone of the work here. Well, I like labeling and folding mm -hmm. and uh, helping and those uh, bug mailing. This isn't busy work, it's real work being done for local businesses who contract with Workshops, Inc. to get the work done and done well. We raise money in a non-traditional way, and that means that we work with business customers all over the area who bring work to us that they need to have done, so it's a win-win situation. Our business customers get great quality, quick service, um, and in turn are supporting work that enables people with disabilities to have jobs. A busy and noisy job is simply marrying nuts and bolts for a local company. Green and blue and silver. It's tedious and repetitive work, the kind of job that might drive you or me up the wall. And yet, for a lot of people who may have a cognitive disability or um, perhaps a traumatic brain injury, that sense of repetition is exactly what they thrive on and they're perfect for that sort of work. So they're able to do their job really well and feel great about their abilities. They're able to earn money doing it and our business customer gets to have all their handwork done. A local steel company uses rice hulls in their steel making process. The amount must be precise. A perfect job here. Many are trained in kitchen and food preparation, a skill that's always needed. Schools and churches often need education materials organized and collated. Katrina Kane likes the work and having contact with others. Most of the both uh, the people, the work and stuff, riding the book. Yeah. In the morning time. Bailey Bowling will tell you that he's had troubles in the past, but now says Workshops Inc. and the people here have kept him on the right track. There are it's, 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 the people that come here, they smile all the time. And it, it, that, that's, that, that, that gives me some inspiration, actually. It helps me to not give up. I mean, it, it's just something to look forward to. And uh, if I didn't have the workshop, I really don't know what I would, would do out there. You ought to see the work and meet the people at Workshops, Inc., and you can. They're having a big open house on October 17th from 1 to 3 p.m. Like me, you just might get hooked on the people and what they do here. Well, we truly that? believe that. We truly believe that if we can get someone in our doors, then they will be a fan of Workshops for Life because I think what we do speaks for itself when people see it firsthand. Workshops, Inc., a unique place where folks who could easily let others take care of them come to work every day are productive workers earning their own living with pride. Okay. That's the spirit of Alabama. Did you know this? 50 million people of working age have disabilities and more than 65% of them are not employed. People with disabilities is the single largest minority group in this country and it's the only minority group, by the way, that any of us could become a part of, be a member of at any time.